Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a first impression, an overall review of the Coach Sammy bag and I have it in a brand new colorway. It's in the metallic mirrored bag I will show you shortly and I really wanted to do this video because honestly I am torn about it a little bit. I've been playing with it since I got it and I am looking for feedback from you as well. So before I get into it, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Alyssa and I have a blog called The Gal's Guide and I come on here and I review my luxury and contemporary handbags. So if you love handbags as much as I do, you should definitely consider subscribing down below. Hit that little red button. I would love to have you join this little community with me here. And to my current subscribers, thank you so, so much for being here. I am so grateful for you and I genuinely love chatting with you in the comments down below. I love having this platform that I can share my passion for handbags with others that share the same passion. So thank you so much for your support as always. That being said, let's get into the video. So I have the bag right here. So this is the Coach Sammy 21 in this gorgeous patent leather metallic mirror material. I apologize because it is reflective so you may see my ring light kind of glaring back. I hope that that's not too harsh so I'm going to try to keep it a little bit further back. So ins and outs of the bag. Let's just go through it, right? So it's got this beautiful top handle. The shape and silhouette of the Sammy is stunning. I think that it is very upscale, very elegant. The back is very sleek and clean. It does have a back pocket here, which is a little bit difficult to get in and out of. It's like a pretty tight squeeze. And then on the left side of the bag, you've got the little keys that you could actually lock the bag, similar to the studio bags. And then you have a little metallic coach dog tag here. So this kind of hangs really nicely because the belt here keeps everything really tightly in place and I will talk about the belt in a bit. Then on the bottom you've got the silver feet which I think is great and then to attach the crossbody strap at the top it goes on here. So this is the crossbody strap. It is the full patent leather like material and it does have quite a bit of adjustments. So I am probably going to put this closer to the shortest because I am five foot two, and I will definitely do mod shots in this video as well. The details on this bag are stunning. It does say coach like on the hardware, the beautiful silver hardware. And what I loved about this bag immediately is how monochromatic and gorgeous it is. I think that it is stunning. I love it. I love looking at it. As soon as it was brought out from the back, I fell in love. So if you haven't seen, I posted a short. I got to see a bunch of different coach releases before they hit the floor. And that's when I bought this for my birthday. I had 10% off. So this bag does retail for $4.95. So it's not cheap. Like in my opinion, I think that's kind of a lot of money, especially for a coach bag, you know? As soon as I saw it, I was like, I have to have it. And I love the fact that I have a discount code. So I'm going to show you the inside and then I'm going to talk through some of the pros and cons that I'm already starting to notice and then we'll do a what fits and mod shots. So I'm going to show you firstly. So this is the studio. I don't have anything in here. So like you really have to kind of hold it down to push it in. It takes a little bit of force to do that and then once you open it up you've got this beautiful leather interior like it's a beautiful gray color and then you have one big open compartment with a card slot holder back here and then a pocket in the front here so you can fit quite a bit in here i would say it's thin but you can fit stuff in there i have the tags in here for when I purchased it. So then on the back, you can see the belt. I have it unbuttoned because I wanted to have some room to get in and out. You can adjust how tight the belt is locked into place. Currently, I don't have mine locked into place and I don't think that I'm going to because it's really not affecting anything with the bag. Like it's not moving it. Here is what I'm noticing as I've been playing. So firstly, taking the plastic off I was manhandling the bag, you know? So like I was touching it and like moving it around and bending it to try to get the plastic off. And as I'm doing that, I'm noticing all my fingerprints, all of my like smudges and like just hoping that I wasn't gonna ruin the bag. And it does say like the bag is a different material, you know, like it comes with a cloth to clean it and stuff like that. But I don't know if that's something that I love. Like, I don't know if that's super practical. Like, for me, I'm a little nervous about that. Like, I don't know. I just feel like it's going to be easily ruined just based on the fact that, like, even fingerprints are going to make marks. Now, I know patent leather 
has that issue as well, but I don't think it's as noticeable. The other thing that I am very worried about is I've only opened this bag once or twice to A, get the plastic off, B, to just show you the inside of the bag, and to like play around a little. And as soon as I've done so, the back is creasing, like immediately creasing. You can see that all day long. I'm gonna close the bag and show you what that looks like in its resting condition while it's closed. So you've got two creases on the back. I don't know if I love that. Like I think that that's going to make me a little upset to look at, but at the same time, I love the look of her. So like I'm trying to figure out is it the biggest deal in the world? Should I just be okay with the fact that I'm going to get more character on this bag? I don't know. So I'm definitely interested to hear from you what your thoughts are. Do you own any of the bags in this mirror metallic? What are your thoughts on the creasing and the scuffs or anything like that? Also, I would anticipate that the other Sammy's probably crease as well. Like, it's probably not just this material. Just by the nature of the way that it opens, it's a pretty tight opening. And, like, it is a little bit difficult to, like, get in and out of and you really kind of have to hold it open. If you have the Sammy, I'd be interested to hear from you in any material. If you've got the creasing going on and if it bothers you, I had messaged my essay at my coach store I just kind of told him like hey I just don't know if I'm gonna be able to deal with this I haven't worn it out like would I still be able to return it they said yes I just don't really want to return it though because I love the look of it and I'm so excited to pair it with outfits so I'm very much torn I would love to hear from you if you can leave that in the comments down below would you keep it would you sell it I would love to hear so I'm gonna show you what fits in this bag just so I can give this bag a full review so we're gonna go ahead and start stuffing her so the first thing I have my iPhone 14 Pro I'm gonna put this in the back of the bag so it fell down to the bottom there but there's a ton of room left on top next I'm gonna put my key fob in there and I'm also gonna put in my headphones so these are my Beats headphones and it's a pretty chunky case then I'm gonna put in my Louis Vuitton key pouch this is in the Damier Ben print and I'm using this as my wallet so I will show you where we're at with all of that that's definitely getting a little heavy but you can see the headphones case is taking up quite a bit of room back there you can see everything is pretty organized it's all staying like where I'm placing it so I think that that's good I don't know how much more I would really want to stuff this because it is getting a little bit heavy but I will add a few cosmetics also just for reference I have my sunglasses cases this is a really fun case that I got on Amazon. It does not fit in here, so it's too wide to get in here. This may be something that you could fit in at the very bottom, like if I didn't have my phone in there to kind of try to do that first, but I wanted to show you just for reference, it is a bit too wide. So I'm gonna start adding some cosmetics and I am gonna put some Advil in here. So this is my little travel Advil. And then I have my lip combination that I have on today. So I have my Too Faced Lip Injection Lip Liner. And this color is Post Up Pink. And then this is the NYX Fat Oil, which I have on top of it. So this is my new little combination staple. So I'm going to put those both in there. And then I probably wouldn't really need anything else, but I'm going to add a few more cosmetics. So I will put in this eyebrow pencil from Tarte. This is a universal shade. It is the Brow Smoothie. And then I have a Essence Mascara, and then I have a, another lip gloss. This is from Tarte. This is their Shift lip gloss, and it literally starts off purple, and then it changes into a different color on your lips, which is pretty cool. So that is literally everything I could fit in here. I don't think much more would fit, and we will make sure that it does close and it does so that's great so everything that I could need definitely fits but as you can see like as I've been touching it you can definitely see that there are some marks all over the bag you know you can see my fingerprints pretty clearly I mean it's not the end of the world like it's fine you know but I don't know if over time what that's going to turn out to look like so I definitely love the shape though I love the size I think it's so so cute and I feel like the feeling of the bag feels very structured and durable. It feels like it's gonna like stand the test of time. It's just like this like 
finish like the glossiness of the finish I don't know and the creasing for sure like the creasing is definitely not ideal but overall my first impression of the look of the bag is a 10 out of 10 but I think the functionality the practicality and the durability is kind of iffy you know so I would say the structure is great the top handle I love the fact that it stays standing if you want it to you can put it down or you can put it back or you can just stand it up and it will kind of do whatever you want it to do which I think is great I love the fact that it also comes with a crossbody strap if you want to use it I think that this bag is pretty versatile as far as the shape and what it looks like like I think that this could be a day to night bag for sure this is definitely a great dinner bag a party bag I would even wear it to work like I think the elegance of the shape allows you to have that versatility so very excited about this bag and I was excited to get home and play with it I'm just just a little nervous. Overall, I think I love the bag itself. I think it's really gorgeous to look at. So I am going to do some mod shots and kind of show you what this will look like styled on me. So I'm going to show you it with the top handle and the crossbody. I am five foot two for reference. So this is what this looks like up against the body and you can fit it on the crook of your arm, which I think is really great. I think that this bag looks really classy, like handheld and just carrying it by the hand like this. This is what this bag looks like as a crossbody. I think it is stunning. Like, I just love the way that it looks. And it's so reflective and just makes a really amazing statement. And I have this on the shortest strap. I am 5'2". This can go a lot longer if you are taller. And this is where I like my bags to lay. I like them to be a little bit higher up on my hip. So this is what this looks like. And then lastly, this is what this looks like as a long shoulder bag. I think that this works like this as well if you just kind of wanted like an easy grab and go, throw it on your shoulder. It looks really nice here too. So overall, I think that the bag is stunning. I love how much it fits. I think that the quality of Coach's bags is always beautiful. Like the craftsmanship of everything is stunning. The stitching, the detail, the hardware, everything about it is beautiful. And this is how the crossbody strap looks when it attaches to the bag. It lays really nicely. I just love the attention to detail. I think it is a really beautiful piece of art as a bag, honestly. I just am a little worried about the durability. So I think overall, first impression I'd probably give this bag an eight and a half out of ten for my first impression I think it has all the bells and whistles I think it is a beautiful bag I just think that the durability over time may be an issue with the creasing and the fingerprinting and all of that but I think it is also a very trendy piece right now and that's really making me want to keep it because I love this trend I think it's gorgeous I love a metallic metal to kind of add to an outfit and I've been really liking mixing silver and gold and I'm I usually wear more gold but I do also like silver I think that silver gets a bit more popular in the fall and winter as well so I really want to keep this I have intentions to keep it I think that I may just have to deal with the fact that over time it's not going to be in pristine condition and you know there's not really much you can do about that so I'm so interested to hear your thoughts. If you're still here with me, thank you so much for watching. I so appreciate you. If you have any questions about this bag, please feel free to leave that in the comments down below. I'd be happy to answer those for you. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in my next video.